Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. In this video, I'll show a sneak peek of the new MVP cards from Panape Museum and Lost Isles. The devs have released a lot of new cards lately, and these cards have a lot of potential. The cards discussed in this video will be the Molten Colossus card, the Fantastic Dragon Galarethan card, and the Nuka card. All of these cards can only be obtained in Legend Mode. How good are these cards? Stay tuned to find out. First is the Molten Colossus card. It is an armor card that gives damage to MVP and mini monsters plus 5%. For every armor refinement plus 1, damage to MVP and mini monsters plus 1%. For deposit reward, when equipped with the Molten Colossus card, MVP mini monster damage plus 5%. The unlock reward gives max HP plus 120. This is an incredible card for PvE and boss hunting, and if you're super whale or lucky, the deposit effect is even more insane. This will likely be an alternative to the Poi Tata Star card, which is currently the best in slot for armor. However, if the MVP or mini is demi human, then the Molten Clauses card will be strictly better. The armor slot for free to play players is difficult. Some people use the Archer Skeleton Star card, which comes nowhere near these MVP cards. Also, the Molten Clauses card is a great alternative to the Heart card, which was unfortunately a limited time event card. If you don't have the Poitata Star card, then definitely try rolling for this. On my beta account, unfortunately I don't have either of these cards for doing a damage test. If you need BCC to roll for these cards when they show up in the card machine, then try Smile.1. Smile.1 allows you to get discounted BCC and premiums for Ragnarok Mobile. They have been around for more than 8 years and have plenty of global business partners for other games too. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks to Smile.1 for sponsoring this video. Next is the Fantastic Dragon Galarethan card. This is a shoe card, and it gives skill damage reduction plus 10%. In abnormal state, own race becomes dragon. The deposit reward is demi-human race damage reduction plus 1%. The unlock reward is max HP plus 120. The skill damage reduction is great, but the bonus is becoming a dragon during abnormal status. As a dragon, any damage to demi-human buffs from your enemy won't affect you, so it is quite broken. For PvE, it would have been great if we can inflict abnormal status on ourselves consistently, so we can become a dragon and bypass all that high legend instance demi-human damage reduction. Unfortunately, there isn't a great way to do that at this moment. Some popular PvP cards for shoes include the Wasteland Lord card for reduced damage taken from players who are all medium sized. Also for the Fallen Bishop card, if your target becomes a dragon, then the damage to demi-humans will be negated. Overall, I think for PvP, this dragon card is fantastic. Finally is the Nuka card. This is a weapon card. For every weapon refinement plus 1, auto attack damage plus 1%. Also when attacking a player normally, there is a 5% chance of removing the player's headwear equipment. The deposit reward is demi human damage bonus plus 1%, and the unlock reward is max HP plus 120. For PvP, if you're an auto attacker, this would give you great damage. 15% auto attack damage is really high, and the removal of headwear is annoying too. If people don't have enough auto attack damage reduction, this will be a huge damage boost. How about for PvE? Can it compete with the Drake Star card or the Minora Star card? I give this a test on my beta account with my Ruin Master. Here's my gear overview. I first begin with the Minora Star card enabled. Here's my Oracle Mirror and Relic. This account is stacked, as 4889 attack and 4415 magic attack. It has 140% deposits. Next for stats, I have 35,000 attack and 53,000 magic attack, 71% penetration, 64% auto attack damage increase, 213% damage, and 122% physical damage increase. I cast off buffs then run towards the dragon. I hit it for about 5.7 million per hit. Next I swap in the Nuka card.
My auto attack damage increase goes up 15% to 79%. I cast off buffs and then go towards the dragon. My damage is about 5.4 million per hit, which is less than the Minora Star card. I think that this was expected since the Minora Star card provides a ton of damage to bosses, and even more the Drake Star card, so there's no point in testing that one too. So Nuka is good for PvP, but not for PvE. I hope you enjoyed these sneak peeks for these upcoming MVP cards, good luck rolling for them in the machine or from getting them luckily in the Legend runs. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Want more sneak peeks? Check out this playlist over here.